four weeks ago, I marooned two sets of people on a remote Pacific island. Ooh, we made it! One, a group of wealthy professionals. I'm looking for the Hilton. The other, a group working for less than the national average wage. It's all gone tits up in the jungle. The group soon met. I know there's people there as well. But two days in, decided to split. We need two separate houses. Yeah. You do your shit over there and we'll do our shit here. The wealthier team attempted to raft to a neighboring island. But high seas decimated their poorly built craft. Help! Leaving them exhausted and on the brink of starvation. We're going to die out here. We're putting ourselves at risk of long term health issues. Despite moments of cooperation, okay. both teams remain in their camps at opposite ends of the beach. I don't mind playing with them, but there's no way that I want to live with them. With two islanders gone, and another with a head injury. Whoa, I've bolstered the filming team with an extra pair of hands for the final week. As the remaining castaways battle the extreme elements, they're still firmly separated by class. If we go and join their camp, we've lost. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, I love salads so much. I would never, ever, ever order a salad, ever. Really? Yeah. A salad with, like, quinoa, feta, watermelon. Or what about, like, goat's cheese, caramelised red onion salad? I would rather have, like, a goat's cheese tart. Wow. <laughs> with pastry. Mm. Hopefully the rain will leave us alone. It's such a catch-22 because everyone is just completely exhausted. But then the longer that we leave it without getting any food, then the less energy we're going to have. Um, and it's just a vicious cycle. It just feels like I'm walking through a quicksand. We've lost so much weight at the moment, all of us have. People are really struggling, but we've just got to push through our levels of exhaustion or whatever and just think, yes, we can do it, right, we mustn't lose focus. There, could you see him? He's just there. Please, can everyone come to stop him coming into the bushes? Please. Even when an opportunity presents itself, the wealthy camp can't always agree on a strategy, with Dr Shireen often at odds with the rest of the team. I'm trying to catch a bird, but I think it's coming for some food. But Shireen wants to get it with a stick. I'm pushing him out. I'm pushing him out, please. Shireen, that it's, it's panicking it. I'm not hitting it with the stick. I'm trying to stop it from going in there. I like experiences and I like adventure. I've trekked across the Atlas Mountains, Uganda, Tanzania, Zanzibar. So I have been stranded in a variety of places. With my career, I've achieved being a single mum at medical school and also working for the MOD as a military doctor. When people first meet me, I think they think I'm full of energy and I'm a happy person, but I think also they think I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> I'm upset with Barnes because he thinks that one bird is not enough for everyone, so he's not killing it. I disagree. It's food. End of. I suppose I haven't really been that helpful, but killing one bird is not high on my agenda this morning. Queen Shireen is the most loving and generous person here on this island. She's my closest friend and I love her. But at the same time, she will not back down. She's very, very opinionated. She loves to argue and bugger anyone else. One bird, yeah? Get up off your lazy asses. Shireen tends to walk around giving people orders. You know, she's, she's not the group leader and frequently even Barnes will say that's not a good idea. So, so look at them. What are they doing? You, you lot aren't eating the chicken when we catch it, just so you know, and I'm serious. Maybe I'm joking, I won't feed them it. I mean, Shereen does work her ass off, there's no doubt about it, so I'm not surprised she's pissed off. If I was thinking of maybe getting up to get the bird, I'm most certainly not going anywhere now.
Sorry, Mrs. Person. Yeah. Can I have a jam sandwich, please, Mrs. Person? I fucking love a jam sandwich. The less wealthy camp are also struggling to feed themselves. We're so hungry, we need to hunt for food. Yet, how do we hunt for food when we stand up and have to grip onto a tree? They might be starving, but they're also determined to continue on their own. There's no way I'm moving into that camp because they will just be bossing us round because that's still their house. Yeah. But do you not think if we pulled all our resources together, it might be more helpful? Not in a way of camaraderie. I think, I think we'd end up fucking... It would be weird. We've come too far. They're funny about things. They don't have a laugh. You don't really see them laughing and joking. They're just, like, game face all the time, serious. I think they look at us and think, hmm, scumbags. I have a vote, then. Everyone I am 100% no. I'm definitely 100% no. It's a no from me. I'm a complete no. They're going to be funny with us. Oh, they're not doing this, they're not doing that, and we don't need to have that shit when we don't need to put up with it. I, I would rather be hungry in a nice atmosphere. Currently, I'm a steel worker. I've been working since I was 16. You might not think it to look at me, but I'm probably the hardest working fat guy you'll ever see. I've got four kids. I didn't want kids, but my ex-partner, she did, and being a dad's amazing. I just like them to be proud of me. I want to do the whole thing <laughs> from start to finish, and then the kids can know that daddy was a hero. You're just you on your own. It's the most knackered I've been in my entire life. Ben, Sammy and cameraman Stevie are scouring the jungle for food. Oh, God, I feel so exhausted. I've ensured the island has enough wildlife and vegetation to keep both groups alive throughout, but only if they have the tenacity to find it, catch it, and kill it. Am I going the right way? Feel free to shout me if I'm going the wrong way. Two hours in, the trek has yet to yield a thing. You all right, Ben? Waiting for you to sort out what way you want to go. And I everything. thought you were leading us the way, man. I thought you said keep going this way down. Right? Sure, yeah, over in that direction. But right this minute, I don't know where. Keep going that way. I kind of am losing the will to live a little bit, and I don't really care. I just want to get through the 35 days. Fuck's sake! It really does zap your energy, totally and utterly zap it. That sea's really close. I think we're at our water source. If we've ended up back at our camp, then fuck, what, what a dickhead I am. <laughs> I'm fucking... I think we need to head to the sea. Hello? I can definitely smell smoke. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God! Ben, have you, you got it? For about two hours. You what? We have been lost. Absolute fucking Romeo. Look at that in your... <laughs> Romeo at dawn. Walk of shame. What happened, Ben? Well, you didn't even no. get near that other camp. stopped trekking for two hours and we've ended up back here. We've walked around in circles, Phil. It's a rule, don't ever go in that jungle unless you know where you're going. I'm not fucking going into that jungle anymore looking for food. I'll do a bit of fishing. I've sorted the net out, but I am not fucking going in that jungle again. You can call me any name you like, a defeatist, whatever you want, mate. I do not give a fuck. I'm done. Survival basically is hard work. 90% of it is just grit and graft. When supplies run low, the tendency is to give up. But when an opportunity does present itself, it's vital to dig deep and seize it. There's three or four birds that were spotted in a, in a bush, birds in a bush. So now um, our Egyptian warrior is off to stone them to death. Shireen's determination has convinced Barnes, Tan and Lorna to join her hunt for some birds.
Hang on, there's one here. Do you want me to go down? Um, Shall I go down? We're going for this one first, so we need someone needs to get on that side of the bush. Remember, tail feathers are the way forward, yeah? The feathers on the top. Oh, oh go round the other side quickly. Go round the other side and stop it. Oh. Go round there. Oh. It's here. There, grab it, grab it. Don't oh, panic, don't, don't yeah. panic. Don't panic. I'm no, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Shireen, stay still, stay still. Everybody stay still. Everybody stay really still, OK? Really still. Still, everybody still. Still, still, still. still. Oh, it's on my stick. I can see it. Here, let me get past. Shireen, you have to tell us where it is. Here. Can you see? Shireen, you're chasing it more into the jungle. Go back. OK, sorry. Oh. Well done, Barnes. Where's the other ones? Let's get the other ones. Looking. It's dead, but it's right. Yeah, let me give it. Give me the legs. Okay, got it. Shireen is a complete maverick. She's like a Russian submarine. She just burns on empty and just keeps going and going and going. I can see one. I can see one. So it doesn't take very much for her to go off on a wild goose chase. But to be fair to her, it always comes back with the golden egg. Oh. Okay, it's got it! Amazing. Mind your eyes. <sighs> got it, Tan! Great. Absolutely great. Absolutely well done. That is so well done. Uh, Ali? Yeah. Is there any more? Oh, there's some string. I'll use that one instead. Wow. Amazing. What an adrenaline rush. And chips. Guys, we're having chicken and chips. It looks delicious. Give me sugar. I'm really excited. It's going to be great. Camp chef Shireen has roasted the birds and boiled some leftover yucca but there's not an enormous amount to go around. I don't like leg, so I'm happy to have a wing or breast or whatever, but right. I don't eat leg. Can I have it more than that, Ali? I'll take that bone. Here, who wants this I'll one? Have it. Can I eat the bone? Mm, no. No. no, we'll boil them up. Do you know which one's mine? Oh, man, one of the ones in the middle. I've got nothing. This isn't, yeah. Yeah, we have actually nothing. Well, there's, there's lots more in there, so help yourself. No, but come on, seriously, that's like a wing and a bat. Shireen, take some of that. I don't want to. I'm not oh, going to no, eat that, so someone seriously. else use it. Shireen, we'll share take, Can someone pass that round? No, I don't want it from Barn. Well, yeah. I don't want that, it. That Shireen, it. stop getting upset. There are two chickens. Two chickens Three. means eight pieces Three. of breast or leg. So Lorna and I should have no, I don't want that. That is not food. It's fine. Good God, I can't believe God. you can be so evil at times. Not evil. You are, Shireen. You're being like, so fucking there's ungrateful. There's how many adults? There's food here. Help yourself to it. It's fine. Enjoy your meal. I think there's selfishness, and they don't see it. They pretend to be all lovey-dovey, but I think, uh, you know, there's selfishness going on. I, th I think that's on for to keep the heat in, Shireen. Yeah, I know, James. Are you doing the chicken broth now? Yes, because otherwise, how are we going to keep it off don't, until tomorrow? Don't speak to me like that, Shireen. Well, please, people, stop treating me like an idiot. Shireen, it was not done. I purposely. know, but James and Tan ate more than what they should, and actually, they're not noble. They spend all night telling me how to cook and what to do. And then they take all the chicken, and to me, that is poor show. And I don't like it, and I'm not willing to be quiet about it. I just don't know if I can take it anymore. If she doesn't, you know, I get on with her really well, but if she doesn't get her way, we can't achieve anything. I just don't know what to do anymore. And if Barnes can't control her, then none of us have got a hope in hell. Last night should have been like a pivotal, happy really? moment. Yeah, exactly. But it actually turned out to be one of the worst nights because everyone just got bollocked by Shireen for, for reasons that they couldn't comprehend. 
Shireen just lost her marble. Never seen anything like it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I thought her reaction last night was just a real shame. Stop. Yeah. Stop it now. When I say something, no one ever sort of says, "Yeah, you have a point." This Just morning, stop. I've no. already had enough now. Just stop. Shireen, Shireen, oh, Shireen, Shireen, no. Shireen. As, uh, come here, yeah. come here, come here. As your friend, yes. OK, I am saying to you now, and you're not going to like it, you're behaving in a, in a completely and utterly fucking nutty way. No, I'm not. Now, Shireen, I think you are like the rest of us, in that you are tired and you are hungry. You will never admit that because you are Shireen and no, you are a machine. True, no, it is true. The mistake and was. No, wait. Yeah. And you said to me, do you think my children would think I'm behaving in a nutty way and being no, upset? No, I did not. You did. With relationships at an all-time low, Shireen calls her team together. I'd like to bring up last night. I'm really unhappy. Um, I feel that when I'm cooking, um, Tan and James really undermine me. It's always like, you're using too much oil. Why are you doing... And, and I'm just trying to do my bloody job. That's fair. I've heard James on several yeah, occasions say, that. well done, at Shireen. At the end, no, 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 at no. the end... During, you've just shifted in the entire blame for your bad mood yesterday onto me and James. You don't take other people's points of view on board. Um, you can be incredibly vindictive. I think sometimes you are overwhelmingly nasty and selfish and... You find victims, and when you find the victim, you just pounce. You want respect. That is a two-way street. I have felt generally ignored. What generally what? I, I think that this is a very toxic environment. I asked you to show me how to... Okay, we're going to wrap this up Because you've, you've got to think it's now impacting on the group. Yeah, exactly. So, and it and is yeah. enormously. So I appreciate everybody's honesty this morning. So yeah. well done. Yeah. It's been great to get it all out. Oh. I, I don't know. It's uh, interesting. Interesting. I feel sad. I think we just go and have a walk together later on when it's all calmed down and say, like, how are we going to sort this out? Don't you agree? Uh, you, could, you could try it. I think nothing is going to get resolved until Shireen realises that she can't just fly off the handle at every second. Mavericks often march to their own beat, and that can be divisive. Shireen is creative and tenacious, a born survivor and she could probably last a whole month just on her own. But doing it in a group, for her, might be a whole different matter. The group's view of me is upsetting. And I'm really sad and sorry that, you know, it, um, it happened like that. It's difficult for me to go into a group and feel as if I belong, I suppose. And I contemplated for a bit and then I thought, my actual challenge is being with a group of people and working together and to remember to be kind to each other. Is that your girls? It's been a month since Ben saw his three daughters. That's Daisy, who's three. Uh, that's Georgia, whose birthday it was yesterday. She's six. And that's Jessica, and she's eight. Bloody hell, they do look alike. They look like you proper. I could have one of them cupcakes they're eating right now. I'm so sorry, my little princess, that I missed your birthday. I never, ever would miss your birthday unless it was something big. And this, what I am doing, is big. Oh, man, that's a killer. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. And I'm doing it for you girls to show you that your daddy is a strong man. Bruv, well, they're going to be proud of you. I hope they think that and they don't think I'm an arsehole. No, no, no. About three months ago, me and my partner of 10 years split up and it was really hard, yeah. So, so what happened? I wasn't giving her a, a, as much t attention as she needed and maybe didn't do as much for the kids as I could have done because I went to work all the time and I just assumed that was enough, but it wasn't. 
and then she started chatting to some guy. What, so she's, she's got someone else? She's engaged to the guy. He's stole my life, he's living in my home with my, my kids. Oh, Ben. That's shit. That's fucking awful, Ben. I, I, I still love, love her more than anything, so... What are you going to do? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Slept in my garage for a week. That's where I sort of dealt with it in there. Then. <laughs> and she was upstairs, just just as happy as Larry with her new life, while I was in the garage. It just broke my heart. Because he's such a lovely guy. That only happened four months ago. To come out here, what, what a man. He's quite inspirational, really. It depresses me a bit sitting in here now. We do need to do a nice clean. Come on, then. <laughs> it's just not nice having mess around you all the time, is it? I've been a bit miserable, and I couldn't pull myself out of the slump. But that isn't the way forward. Once we've been taken off this island, that's it then. There'll be no other chance to do something like this again. So while I'm here, I'm staying positive and making the most of it. It's just looking so close, it's unbelievable. And I think we can do this. Two weeks ago, Shireen and her camp failed in an attempt to raft to a neighbouring island. I'm up for building another raft and having another attempt with both groups. So she's trekking to the north end of the beach to suggest the joint adventure. We're here to experience things and we're all in our safe little zones um, now, you know, their camp, our camp. And so I'm hoping the raft will actually catapult people into thinking, yeah, let's spend some time together because we haven't done that enough. How are you? All right, yeah. yeah. Hi, Sammy, how are Hi, you? Hi, uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good. Oh, I'm really God. sweaty. So, uh, tomorrow, I hope to go on the island with the raft, but it's swimming with the raft as a flotation. What we're going to do, lay, lay on the wood and just paddle over? The raft is not to sit on, it's there it's to... It's a floating device. It's a floating device. So, so we're swimming, if, and if you can't swim, you, you grab you the prop. You hold on to the, yeah, yeah. the thing. We're going with the tide out. Swim over there, do a quick circuit of the island, check what's there, back on the same tide. Not planning to overnight, not planning any... Yeah, I love that Do you want to come? Yeah, I, I, I am on that like a car bonnet. That sounds like fun to me. Yeah. So shall we show a show of hands for this rafting tomorrow? Oh, 100%. Yeah, well, even being Sammy, I can Sam, support as well. Me, that's, that's everyone. Yeah. It was actually really, really good. It was amazing. See you later. And we were able to discuss the raft. You know, they're all up for coming to support the second raft expedition. So it's been really, really good. What we're doing tomorrow is amazing. I can't wait for that. I've wanted to go over to that island, so I'm going to swim my fat ass over there. Get your limes, pineapples, bit of yugga. Three for a pound. The less wealthy group are joining forces with their wealthier neighbours for a foraging expedition to the smaller island. To be honest, when we get over there, I think it's going to be like a fucking huge rock with just a few trees on it. So can I have a show of hands of the people who are going today on the raft? One, two, three, four. Perfect. So I suggest that we make a move because time is ticking. Right, let's go. Let's hope today is the day. I'm so excited. I can see all the coconut trees, so there's all fresh coconuts there. Most probably easier access coconuts. 
Where do you want to build it? Should we build it over that uh, No, way? I think we have to sit in the shade. If we can make it all out of bamboo, it's going to be really buoyant. Mm. The last trip to the neighbouring island ended when riptides pushed them way off course and wrecked their craft. This time, they've chosen a new launch site, much closer to their destination. But that's only part of the new plan. We're building a bamboo float, which we'll tow behind us and we'll swim. Lovely. Look at him go. We're adding a little bit of buoyancy after our last sinking. We are not stopping until we are. This is the most island. determined team you could get, really. You never know, we might get captured by rogue pirates. <laughs> Wonderful. The rafting team is a 50 50 split from both camps. Gotta go before that tide turns, chaps. Uh, place that bad boy down. And that floats! Like a dream! Oh, look at that, that's perfect. I'm happy that we're all mixing together now. I, th I think we, it's a good thing. It's the last week and it's all good. Shireen, hurry up. Shireen, we need to go. Good luck. Hello. Bring home goodies. Oh, this woman, mate. It's like waiting for my fucking nan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bye -bye. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Let's go, Shireen. Fucking hell. Right, guys, kick your legs as much as you can, please. Legs are kicking already, Barnsley. As a confident swimmer, Barnes pulls a raft from the front. Let's do it! Woo! Let's do it! This mission's going to be successful this time, guys. Oh. I can already feel it. We've got a long way to go, guys, so pace yourselves. The return journey to the other island is a mile of strong currents and unpredictable riptides. Their previous raft was pulled way off course and left in ruins by the unforgiving ocean. It is going to test their resolve to the max. Go on, guys! You're doing brilliantly! They've gotten so far in no time at all. I'm just saying... The issue now is the current. They're starting to drift a little bit. They were on a straight line over there, but they're, they're pulling to the left now. We need to go straight. We need to go straight because the tide will move us. Are we resting a bit? No, Phil, you've got to keep going, Phil. You can do it. If we stop, we're going to start drifting, guys. Yeah. Cool, the, it's very rough over there. As they close in on the island, the tide begins to turn, creating powerful swells in the sea. There's quite a strong current here, guys. I feel like it's trying to take us around the island. It is. Come on, kick everyone, kick. Come on, let's go. The current's so strong, I'm not going anywhere. Just don't panic and keep drifting. We're going to land on the rocks. Come on, guys. One more kick again. Final push, let's go. Go, go, go. Oh. Take your time serving, baby. Oh. Oh, yes! Woo! Woo! <laughs> yes! They're there! Yes! 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 yes. 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 Well done, guys! Oh, my God, it's like being back in Brighton. We've done it. I know, you've done Fucking it. Fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> the crew did incredibly well. I'm very proud of them. And now we've just got to settle in, then we'll start the forage, or the forage. Very slippery. And we're off. Yeah. Faced with jagged rock faces and thick vegetation, their way into the jungle is unclear. Well, what's there, Ben? Dense jungle, mate. What do you reckon, guys, up there? Um, I think it looks very dense there. I think we've got more chance going from where we came. Is everyone Agreed. happy with that? Yes. Agreed. OK, let's go that way. Shireen, she is a hardcore woman, one of the most toughest women I've ever met in my entire life. Straight up there, Ben, in front of you. I'll go first, then, and see. I mean, I bet she's fucking hard work to live with because she's just slightly crazy, but I think she's an amazing woman. Oh, look, there's bones there. 
Look at Where? the pineapples! Oh, my God, really? I found the pineapple! I found pineapples! Pineapple! No, pineapple! I swear to God! One, oh one, my two, God. three, four, five, six, seven. I am chunk. Oh, my God. To be fair, I thought for a moment that perhaps Shireen was having a baby. Oh, my God. Have a bite each, quickly. Oh, oh my God. God. This is just like heaven. I mean, just can you believe how much satisfaction one piece of pineapple can give? There's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. You found more, Phil? Yeah. I got my pineapples, I got my pineapples, I got my pineapples. Yeah, just grab it all. They're just coming from everywhere. Oh, my God, guys, we've won the lottery. Yucca, yucca, yucca. Look at that for a big one, hey? Barnes, well done. Look at the size of that. Oh, guys, I'm so proud of you all. Yeah, I feel like a legend. You are a legend, Ben. <laughs> I feel like a hero. I just can't wait to take it home to both teams. Go. OK. It's just one of the best things I've ever done in my entire life. It's just such a buzz. What a fucking wicked day out. Beats Margate, don't it? Homeward bound, guys. Hey! We're going to make it. The trip home with shitloads of pineapples, Barnes, yucca, oh, a like feast. <laughs> he, he looks like he's in the bathtub. <laughs> ben, I think, has been wonderful. And he's lifted everyone's spirits here and everyone had a really nice day. And he's such a lovely guy. I've been sweetened with the delights of our uh, it wasn't that I didn't like the other group. It's just that I felt that they would have thought they were better than me. And so I took that snap judgment from them at the start. I'm nearly home. And I admit that I'm wrong. And uh, yeah, they're really nice people. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Woo! What you got, Phil? Oh, no, Fucking hell. Fucking hell, Sam. Ali. Mm. Shireen and Queen, you are the king of spotters. Shireen, you're going to have to get the dinner on. I know. <laughs> I know. Ben, come get your pineapple. Cheers, chicken. No worries. The two groups share the day's spoils by throwing a party in the middle of the beach. I just want to say um, a massive, massive thank you to all the rafters today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazing effort. And this pineapple has never tasted so sweet. So thank you so, so, so much. Go Team Pineapple! Absolutely. It's been really nice actually to spend a bit of time with Laura and Sammy, the other girls in their group who are more my age. Just a sort of proper girly chat, so it's really nice. It was well worth the effort just to hear everybody's mmms. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I love Barnes. I fucking love him. The chap is fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, we had the real fun time. I, I had one of the best times of my life. It was amazing. Is everyone listening? Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be a really good idea if we built a canopy over this fire as a team. That's Anyone good. think that's a good idea? Oh. I agree, Ben. I yeah. Think yeah, so. ben. yeah, Ben. Woo! I think that's a very, very generous offer. And do, do you think maybe we've merged? <laughs> <laughs> I was a very anti-merging, but everybody really let go, and and it was really, really special to see people's true selves. And it felt that we were a really close group. We merged back together with a new canopy. Well done. An official merge. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel amazing, and I think my kids will be proud of me. I think everyone will be. Behind this beard is a sculpted warrior of a man. <laughs> I couldn't even say that without laughing. <laughs> ben is making good on last night's promise building a communal shelter on the site of yesterday's feast, 
exactly halfway between both camps. We can either do it like hexagonal or we could do a big square one with like a, a roof that goes down like that to slope the rain off the front. I got up this morning and I've been in the jungle uh, collecting the building supplies for a shelter and I've managed to get some good stuff. We can actually mark it out. This one's not that strong, but it doesn't really need to be. We could have just pushed through as a team at the beginning, gave everyone a chance, but we, we didn't. It's too late now. We, we can only live in the uh, present, and I'm making the most out of the present. Go on the other side. Really nice that everyone's working. They're all sort of working together as a team. Now we just need palm leaves. Shame that it's four weeks in that it's taken us this long to start getting to know each other properly, but it's nice that we're finally getting that opportunity. I'm not that fussy. <laughs> it's looking really good. Any animosity that's been going on, everyone is determined to sweep it under the carpet and to just get on and to, to work as one, which I think is amazing. I need to get that tree down. <gasps> oh, man. Are you OK? Oh, fuck. One of the bits just hit me in the eyeball. It fucking hurts. A splinter has grazed Ben's eye. Shireen? Shireen? Yeah? Hmm? Sorry about my eye, by the way. Oh, I just can't open it. It just feel, feels horrible. Dr Shireen and Ali assess the damage. Looks straight. Good eye there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. That's a large corneal abrasion. How is your vision? Blurred? I can see you fine here, yeah? Mm. And it's just blurred around here. OK. Mm. I think the ophthalmologist should have a look at it. Yeah. You can't go and come back. There's absolutely no way I'm not going to see this through to the end. You may always lose that periphery of your vision and get complications and end up losing the sight in that eye. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to lose my sight. If this was my eye, I would be going. Oh, I can't believe this. Thank you. All right, sweetie. The size of the abrasion is what's concerning us. And obviously, in this sort of environment, when nothing is clean, your hands aren't clean, you're rubbing your eye, there's more of potential for it to get infected and it develop into something nasty. I would be gutted to go, absolutely gutted. I can't think of anything worse than not sharing that moment when Bear comes to pick us up. I mean, it's a hard decision because of my pride and because I'm so stubborn. But deep down, I know what the right thing is to do. Oh, Ben, I don't want you to go on a warm I don't want to go either. But I'm going, because it's the right thing to do. It's gutting. What else can I do, eh? <laughs> don't cry, Albert. You'll make me cry. I don't want to do that. Just feel really good. Ben reluctantly agrees to be taken off the island by my safety team. Hello. What's going on, guys? I'm going. Oh, Ben. Honestly, it's the right decision. Ben, he's had a really difficult time here, and he's only literally just started to come to life and actually enjoying his time. Mm -hmm. Right. Bye bye. Ben. And it's a tragedy that he's had to leave. Right, I love, love you all, yeah? Love you all, Ben. Right. Love, love you, you all, ben. Ben. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. See you later, Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye. Bye. See you later, son. Bye. I think my girls will be proud of me for what I've done, what I've achieved on my time on the island, and I think they definitely would have wanted me to come on.
Khan likes to say, this is about survival in a group, not just survival on an island. It's the last day for the remaining islanders, now living as one team. I've learned actually that I think people do like me, you know, in groups. And also, I'm probably my own worst enemy. It would have been so easy at times just to have said, actually, do you know what, stuff you all, I'm off. So proud of you. Very important role as bridesmaids here. But I haven't got flowers, shall we pick a bunch of leaves? Yeah. The group is using any excuse for a final celebration. It's actually really cute. So would you believe it? It is the day we've all been waiting for. Uh, the wedding of Barnes and Shireen. What do you think? Stylish, huh? I know he's gay. And I'm straight. But love transcends all. It'll be great. I mean, who wouldn't want Shireen to marry them on the island? Whether they'd want her to marry them in real life is another matter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that Shireen has been an absolute superstar out right here. And I'll take my hat off to the woman. We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Lord Barnes of Cornwall <laughs> and Shireen, the Egyptian queen. Shireen has been an incredible friend to me here on the island, and I, I totally adore her, and she's done so much for us all. Shireen, my queen. When I arrived here, I thought I would be the only queen. <laughs> so I thought of no better reason for us to combine, and I hope that we live happily ever after together for the next day and a half. <laughs> Shireen's just difficult. But that said, Shireen has driven this group, and I wholeheartedly feel that I would have found it a lot more difficult without Shireen. You are now married, and you may kiss if you so wish. Thank you. Oh. Yes, embrace. I cannot believe it is our last day tomorrow. I want to make sure that I bury these memories so I never forget this place because it has been an absolutely overwhelming experience. The ending to this has been fun. I've never laughed so much. I've never had that much fun. Go big or go home. If you don't put yourself out there, if you don't take the risk, you'll never have the fun. <laughs> that are still on that island, that have never given up, they should be proud of themselves. But together, you're always going to be stronger. And I think if they'd come together earlier as a team, they would have achieved so much more, their life would have been easier, they would have figured out how to hunt better, how to fish better. But on your own, you are never as effective. Well done. Wow, some big smiles. Good for you, good for you. You're smiling, you're standing, you're survivors. You know, and this whole process isn't about finding out who's got great survival skills. It's actually about finding out what you're really made of. So what kept you going? Each, Each other. other. Teamwork, yeah. team, team, really. teamwork. Yeah. Spirit. Remaining you positive. You have to carry on. Yeah, there's no other no option. choice. Yeah. I think you're amazing, I really do. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> this fire's obviously been burning, you guys want to put it out, here you go. Alright then, let's rock and roll! Here we go! We did it! We're actually leaving. Woo! Oh my god, we are literally leaving this. 35 days. Woo! God, it's a long time. Woo! It's our time! It's been horrific, it's been life-changing, it's been amazing.
The only thing that has mattered here is the determination in your head, and that is not due to privilege, that's due to the person that you are. This experience has taught me that it does not matter at all what background you come from or how privileged um, you may seem on the outside world. All that matters here is hard work and teamwork and getting the job done. I'm leaving the island a broken man, basically. I mean, the only positive moment in my mind was the taste of a very fresh and warm pineapple. I think that actually if I had gone to a supermarket or to a deli, I could have saved myself one of the most gruelling five weeks of my entire life. I just think we're all the same. Like, whether we're on a council estate or whether they're in gated houses, I think all we want is to get home and have a lasagna.